Hi, I'm Larry Dapsis. I'm the entomologist with Cape Cod Cooperative Extension, and basically I'm your county bug guy. So I cover ants to yellow jackets, but today we're going to focus on a discussion of ticks. And tick-borne illnesses on Cape Cod is pretty significant. In fact, Cape Cod, Barnstable County is the fourth highest incidence rate of Lyme in the state. So we need to be aware of this and take precautions. And so where do we find these ticks? Well, look behind me. I'm here on a lawn out in the open, and they're not going to find ticks here. But as soon as I get into that brush and leaf litter and shade where it's high humidity, that's where the ticks thrive, okay? And, and basically, tick season starts January 1st and goes to December 31st. So it's, it's a season-long thing that we have to be aware of. The adult stage ticks basically come out in September, and they're with us until April into May. So the ticks are active even in winter. They make antifreeze. And then in the spring, say early May until mid to late August, we have the nymph stage tick of, of the deer tick. And that's significant because uh, they are the size of a poppy seed. So this stage is most likely to elude a tick check. And that stage is responsible for 85% of all tick-borne diseases. Now those nymph stage ticks, they are down in leaf litter, okay? So the first place they attach to are your shoes. Those adult stage ticks that come out September, you might find them on vegetation up to a couple feet off the ground, okay? So you might find them attached to, you know, your pant cuff or around your knee or a little bit higher. But if you find a tick on your head, it started down low and crawled up. They don't jump out of trees. So what do we do to protect ourselves? For my money, and based on experience, Permethrin-treated clothing and footwear is the most effective tool in the box. And you can go to any garden center now and get this product. And you treat fabric and it'll keep its activity through six washings. And what I found is that permethrin isn't just a repellent. I found that in my research, if a tick has 60 seconds of contact time, that tick is guaranteed to die. We have to consider protecting our pets as well. Can animals carry ticks into a house? Sure. But when a deer tick is in a household environment, uh, that's much lower ambient humidity. So that tick is going to die within a few hours. So if you have a tick attached to you, um, don't panic. You want to have just pointy tweezers available. Just grab that tick by the head as close to your skin as you can get it and gently pry straight up. And if you see something left behind, don't panic. That's only um, the beak of a mouth part, so it's no worse than, it's, it's like a wood splinter. Hit it with a little neosporin, and it's gonna dissolve in a couple days. Stay tick safe.